Hey gang, it's your old buddy Platt, and today I'm going to show you how to make beef jerky using the seasoning kit. So let's go. Well, for those of you that watch the channel know I love home brewing kits. Uh, home wine making kits, meat making kits. I love kits because they make my life easier, and I like that too. Uh, so it was just a matter of time that once I got into beef jerky making that I would find a beef jerky kit and that's what I have here today uh, to be correct a seasoning kit jerky cure and seasoning kit uh, original blend this from high mountain seasonings uh, I found this actually a while back at a Bass Pro Shop before they shut everything down um, but you can also find this uh, online I'll leave a link down below and uh, so let's see what's inside our little jerky kit. Uh, first and foremost, the instructions. Um, it kind of breaks down. Um, they have different recipes for different types of meat. If you use regular like top round or ground beef, ground turkey. Uh, also kind of goes into making snack sticks, which we might have to do one of these days. Uh, also kind of a catalog of all their other products and seasonings they have. Um, inside is two, two packets, and then I guess they give you a little shaker if you want to use to put those in. But let's talk about these two packets real quick. First is their seasoning packet. Um, salt, pepper, uh, I think there's garlic powder. Uh, it says soy sauce. I think they use a soy powder. So it has all our different spices. Uh, you know, uh, kind of like the uh, Colonel's original recipe. The second packet is the one I want to spend a little more time on. This is the curing salt. Um, in our previous two recipes, we add a lot of salt either through the soy sauce or just the addition of garlic salt, regular table salt. And for thousands of years, that's what people use to cure meat and also uh, used as a preservative to keep meat from going bad which we don't want our jerky to go bad. Um, nowadays we have something called curing salt. Uh, this is primarily basically table salt but they add something called sodium nitrite in there. Uh, part of the reason is is that salt was great in preventing most bacteria from growing on whatever meat you had cured or whatever. However, not all bacteria. And that's why the, the sodium nitrate is important because they kind of come in and do what regular table salt couldn't do. And one of the big bacteria this helps prevent is uh, botulism. Uh, botulism somehow was able to thrive in high salt uh, environments. And so the regular table salt was not working to prevent botulism, but the sodium nitrite that gets added in that does help. So this this is a important part, an important next step in I guess our journey into uh, beef jerky making. Uh, some some of these salts, curing salts you'll see are pink in color. Um, not this one's more of a light beige with just a hint of pinkish in it. What they do is they potentially add dyes to make sure this does not look like white regular table salt because those are two different things. Not that necessarily harm you. It's just you don't want to use you know, curing salt if you're throwing it in like if you're using salt in a baking recipe or whatever. So that's why they do that. You may see some of these in a pink color. Don't let that throw you off. That's just again dyed so you, you don't get confused with regular salt. So that's uh, all we've got in this kit. Pretty simple. So let's get to making some beef jerky. <laughs>
wrap up, we took our jerky seasoning kit uh, with the jerky seasoning and the, and the curing salt. And we added it to one pound of ground beef. You want to make sure that ground beef is at least 90% lean. And uh, we put it in our oven for four hours. And voila, we have a pound, or well, we, our pound of ground beef is now about eight, nine ounces of beef jerky. So now we're at the moment of truth. The taste test, let's give her a try. Oh man, it's good stuff. Um, not real spicy, not real peppery. This is their original seasoning. I know they have peppery blends, whatever. Um, I will say I might have left this a little thick. Um, it's probably about a quarter of an inch. You want a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch. Overall, though, good stuff. I will probably use this kit again. Um, I will leave a link down below for the kit. So, with that being said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, feel free, free to like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.